Welcome to Picture Healer channel. My name is Shi Tian, and today we are going to look at the new 2023 Year of the Rabbit Flying Star Feng Shui chart. Last week, we were talking about the Flying Star Feng Shui for September 2022. And the monthly Feng Shui chart for September is exactly the same as the yearly chart for 2023. So we will look at this yearly chart and combining with the period 8 chart. In this chart, we have number 4 star in the center and the number 2 illness star in the east and the number 5, 5 yellow star in the northwest. So those two are more negative stars. And the best stars are number 8 in the south and the number 9 in the north. Here is the flying star chart combining the 2023 yearly star and the period 8 star. The number on the bottom is the period 8 chart. The period 8 chart always have number 8 in the center. And for period 8, right now the tiny stars include star A and 9 and number 1 because that's either current or upcoming period. So those are very lucky and timely stars. And the best one is uh, south. We have the star number eight, and the number nine in the north is also very lucky. And the number one star in the southwest is also a tiny star. It's like a secondary tiny star because period one is still pretty far away from now. Here is the summary chart for year 2023. And if you are new to this type of chart, you might be wondering why the south is on the top. That's just the traditional Chinese map, always south on the top and the north on the bottom. You can always turn it around to overlay on your floor plan or turn around your floor plan to match. And the direction is the exact direction on your compass or on the Google map. And from the chart, you can tell the best direction is the north in 2023. We have yearly star 9 and uh, period 8 star, that's number 4. And in the south, we have star 8 and the star 3. That's also very lucky. And even in the center, star 4 and 8, that's also pretty lucky. Another very lucky direction is the west. We have star 6 and 1. And for health concerns, we should pay attention to southwest, northwest, northeast, and the east. Those areas have star either 2 or star number 5, the illness star or the misfortune star. So in those areas, we can place some feng shui cure, such as any metal object, a wind chime, a bronze bell, or some type of water, maybe salt water cure. In the center, we have star number four, four green star. And this is a star of intelligence, social popularity, fame, and talent. So generally, it's very positive. But the 4-8 star combination, it's the wood element controls the earth. So there will be more tension, more stress. Even if you have a lot of talent and skill, there's a tendency for depression and maybe feeling lonely or isolation. And this tend to affect younger boys. But generally, both are positive stars. And the number eight star brings wealth, luck, and career success. And the lucky element is uh, fire here because wood can generate fire and fire generates earth. So it balanced between star four and star eight. And the lucky items here, you can display red carpet, red pillow, candles, lamps, or fireplace. And the lucky color here will be red, orange, or purple because those are fire type of color. The next direction is west. We have star number six. 
the sixth white star. The metal star number six generates water star number one. Both are very lucky stars, and this combination brings fame, wealth, promotion, and also peach blossom luck. That's the relationship luck. And the star six is especially lucky for physical type of career, such as a military, a soldier, police, and so on. So this direction is one of the best direction in 2023. And each month, there will be monthly star that can change the luck a little bit. But overall, the West is a very lucky direction in 2023. And the lucky element here, you can enhance metal, enhance water, or earth, because they are all very lucky. So you can enhance any of those elements. Because six and one are both very lucky, it's a great place to set up a money altar or a money corner to place some money enhancers. So lucky items you can display include a water fountain, fish tank, wind chime, five emperor's coins or any metal coins, money frog, money god, crystal, pottery, and the lucky colors are silver, gold, blue, black, brown or beige. Those are related to metal, water, and earth. Next, northwest, we have star number five, the five yellow star. And this is the star of misfortune. So this is more negative star. And the five night combination is a fire generates earth. And we have to avoid any disease that's related to fire type, such as the eyes, head, heart, or blood-related disease. The number nine is a pretty lucky star. It's usually related to festive event. And because it's also a fire star, it can mean things change quickly. So this can mean unexpected news or sudden change or even acute disease. And the lucky element here is metal because metal reduces the star number five. And we try to avoid a lot of fire elements here, such as a red color or too much fire or heat in this direction and try to avoid construction in the Northwest during this year. The lucky items for Northwest include metal bell, metal wind chime, a singing bowl, metal coins, a hulu, the Chinese gourd, or turtle or dragon turtles. The hulu, turtle, and dragon turtles are symbols of good health. And you can also set up a salt water cure here to reduce the negative energy. So the lucky colors will be silver, white, and gold. Even the water element will be lucky, such as black and blue. Next, the north, we have number nine star. The nine purple star is a very lucky star, and uh, it's a timely star in period eight now. So the nine and four combination, that's wood generating fire. And this means increased fame and intelligence, and especially intelligence for females. So this is a lucky place, one of the best direction in 2023. So you can set up important space here in the north or spend more time in this direction in 2023. And the lucky element here is uh, fire or wood. That's the element of the nine and four. And the water element is also lucky because water generates wood. The lucky items you can display here include the lucky bamboo. You can also place them in the water because water is also a lucky element here or just display water fountain, fish tank, or lighting, or candles, or any symbols of success, such as horse, dragon, or koi fish. 
and lucky colors include red, orange, purple, green, blue, or black. Those are elements of fire, wood, and water. In the northeast, we have star number seven, seven red star. And seven and two combination is the earth generating metal. It brings wealth, luck, power, and status, but possible problems from relationships, and it can cause some money loss. And watch out for illness, injury, or legal trouble. So the relationship is highlighted here. It can go either way, either lucky or bring you trouble. And this direction is related to financial luck, but also weak health. And the lucky element is to add some metal objects or add water element. Lucky items include qilin, pisho, Metal bell, metal wind chime, singing bowl, turtle, dragon turtle, and hulu. Those are pretty similar to the northwest for the star five. We can add a lot of metal objects to reduce the number two illness star or display symbols of good health, such as turtle or dragon turtle. And the lucky colors include silver, gold, white, black, or blue. In the east, we have number two black star. The number two is an illness star. So if your health is weak, don't set up your bedroom in the east or just pay extra attention. So the two six combination is the earth generates metal. And that means increased financial luck, real estate luck, business success, but weak health because of the number two star. And the lucky element is the metal again, just like northeast and the northwest. And the water is also lucky to indirectly reduce the earth star number two. And avoid construction in the East in 2023. The lucky items include anything metal, such as metal bell, metal wind chime, singing bowl, metal coins, hulu, the Chinese gourd, or turtle, dragon turtle to symbolize good health, or the salt water cure to absorb the negative energy. And the lucky colors include silver, gold, white, black, or blue. In the southeast, we have star number three, the three jade star. And the three and seven star combination is metal controls the wood. And this is called the sword fight combination. That means increased tendency for fighting, legal issues, or money loss and also possible robbery or accidents. Both stars are related to conflict and uh, fighting, but the star number seven can also mean status and power. So it can go either way or it can be both power and status, but also conflict. So just watch out for the conflicting energy in the Southeast this year. And the lucky element here is uh, water. Because water reduces metal, that's uh, number seven star. And you also balance between the number seven and number three stars. And the lucky items include the salt water cure, laughing Buddha, Hulu, Pisho, or Qilin. The Pisho and Qilin can bring protection and also increase your power. And the lucky colors here include the black and the blue. That's the color of water. In the south, we have number eight star, the eight white star. And the eight is the best star in period eight right now. So south is a very lucky direction. And the eight three combination is the wood controls the earth. So it can mean disharmony in the family or it can mean intelligence, fame, and financial luck. 
The number eight star is related to financial luck and the career success. So generally, it's still a lucky direction. Just watch out for possible injury, money loss, or some conflict from the star number three. The lucky element here is the fire because fire can balance star number three and star number eight. And this is also a good place to set up a money altar, add in money enhancers such as crystals, money guard, money toad, coin banks, and so on. So the lucky item include the candles, lighting, crystal, fireplace, red carpet, red pillow, and any money enhancers. And the lucky colors here include red, orange, or purple. Those are related to colors of fire. Last direction is the southwest. We have one white star. The one white star is also a lucky star, and it's also a tiny star. But because of the number five misfortune star, it kind of balances out. The Earth star number five controls the water star number one, so it can bring illness, injury, or misfortune. The star number one is usually related to middle son or the middle aged man, so pay extra attention to maintain good health. And uh, traveling away from home is lucky for them this year. The one five combination is better than year 2022. In the year 2022, we have star two and five, two very negative stars in the southwest. So in 2023, the southwest is actually much better. The number one star can bring success and financial luck. So it's kind of mixed luck in this direction in 2023. The lucky element here is metal or water because of the number five star. And try to avoid construction in southwest. The lucky items include Pisho, Chilin, Hulu, Dragon Turtle, and any metal furniture, anything made of metal, such as bronze bell, metal coins, or you can add a salt water cure to absorb the negative qi. The lucky colors here include silver, gold, white, black, or blue. So that's the overview for the year 2023, the flying star chart. We are going to have more detailed analysis in the future, but this can give you a head start if you are already planning the feng shui for 2023. Generally, north and south are very lucky, and the west too. And pay attention to the southeast because of the sword fight combination. In general, this is a pretty good year. I don't see many negative combinations. The only big one is the southeast, the sword fight combination. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next week.